Hi friends, hope you all are doing great. So in this video, we will see that how to clean your data. Like if I am having raw material of data, then how you will uh, understand properly that if data is clean, then you can make a proper result or make a proper report from this Excel data. Okay. So this is, I'm just taking a small amount of data and I take all variety so that I can apply all kind of clean, cleaning process on this. Okay. So this is the date, ID, name and uh, like a name and age is combined in the single uh, column and uh, there is a location and salary and pin code everything. Okay. So let me do the first cleaning process which is the remove duplicates. Okay. So how you will remove the duplicates? You need to select all data. Okay. Shift control and forward key then down arrow and then all data is selected. Now go to the like a data and uh, click here remove duplicates okay so i'm just removing duplicates uh, so if this uh, everything is selected so i just click okay okay now two duplicates are found and removed from here okay so 22 unique or uh, like a row is, is still there okay now there is no any duplicates complete row okay now come to another part is filtering the data so how we will apply filter through the shortcut so press shift control and l now in the column first column you can see the filter so by uh, check, clicking the filter you will see like this okay so everything is okay or not in this so i think there is a you can collect this date and this so now it's better but the thing is there is a one uh, like a data which is xyz so it should not be in this because this is the date format okay so let me uh, filter this data let me filter this data so once i filtered i got this uh, record that uh, this is a uh, date is mentioned xyz and id is this name is this 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 like this so i think this is uh, not a uh, valid data here so i can delete this simply select all data and delete okay now so, uh, remove the filter like checked all okay so i got again the complete data and uh, then again uh, you can check next uh, like column as well is this uh, everything is uh, good or not there is a blank in between okay so you need to clean this one as well there is no blank but uh, and the below there is one blank so you need to filter this one so how you will filter first of all uncheck all the things then click on blank and click ok now you got only this here is a blank so what should I do for this blank? Like if you know the ID of monies, you can fill here. If not, then uh, you need to fill something so that you can make a comparison. So either you can fill 00, zero whatever, or you can fill NA. Like there is a, uh, like ID is not available for this guy. Okay. So by this way, you can filter and everything is fine. So I'm just removing the filter from here. So selecting all. Okay. Now come to the age part, you can say there is a combination of the name and age. So like uh, I should filter by another way and let me filter location part. So also there is a one blank. So let me filter that one blank and uh, then what should I do? If you know the location of locus, you can mention and if not, then you can mention NA. So I'm just uh, no. So I just mentioning Agra. I got Agra. Okay. So I'm just removing the filters from here, selecting all. Okay. Click OK. Now you got all data. Come to the salary part. Is there uh, like any mistake or something? So everything is in number. So there is no any problem. Just cancel. Come to the pin code part. So everything is like a number only. Is there any character or something? No. So it's okay. So it's uh, good. Okay. Now come to the another part is for what like I just cleaned the space and everything. So come to the this part that uh, I need to make it separate like name in separate column and age in separate column. So for that what you need to do first of all you need to create uh, like a column. So I'm just pressing shift control and plus I got new column. You can uh, name this uh, column is age. Okay because I wanted age in this column. So I'm just selecting this data, then go to the like uh, data part and then text to column, click on text to column. So here already choose the uh, delimiter, so uh, uh, delimited, okay. So you need, uh, uh, you can separate this data by using comma. You, you can see uh, like a name and age separated by comma everywhere, comma is separated name and age okay so i'm just clicking uh, clicking next then uh, in the next they're asking that uh, what is that is comma or what so i'm just uh, pressing comma 
and uh, removing this one okay so let me click okay now you can uh, uh, preview the data you will get data like this like a name is separated and age is separated so click on next then uh, it is asking that what kind of data format so this is the i'm just taking the general format it's not text or data anything so it's uh, already by default choosing general so it's okay now clicking on the finish once you click you can see your data is separated from name okay so name in separate column column in uh, like age in different column so i'm just removing age from here so now it's better okay so this column is good now if you want to make a, like a conditional formatting on your data then there is also the option to do this so let me apply the conditional formatting on age okay so on this age let me select complete a like this column then go to the conditional formatting and i wanted the age like highlighted which is less than 20 year okay so i'm just going to like highlighted cell rules then less than okay in the less than it is already mentioned 30 uh, 36.5 but i wanted how much 20 okay and uh, red color okay so that's okay so you can see it is like uh, formatted and uh, give the red color of those uh, cell which is less than 20 year okay so 18 year 19 year 19 year okay it is highlighted uh, now come to the salary part uh, there is you can apply one filter which is the decimal you can see here is the decimal point so if you want to remove the decimal you want only a number format then you can to select and go to the home button then click on this point you you can shift your decimal okay now you got the only number number okay so that that thing okay i think it's uh, now it's everything is fine so you can see your data now is clean properly you can analyze this you can uh, apply operation on this data okay so i am having one more data so which is in the word format and you need to uh, like uh, convert into the excel you can see this is the data so this is the another data which is the column excel column and but uh, the data records is this which is you need to fill in the excel row, row. okay so i just want to select this data i uh, put the uh, control a then control c and go to the excel part and uh, seat number uh, you can uh, go to the next sheet i'm just pasting this data here okay so now you can see uh, i cannot understand that which column is uh, like representing what is this so i need to make it in proper format in the excel format okay so for that you need to select only one uh, like a column and then go to the uh, like a text uh, where is the in the data part then text to column okay again same thing you need to use the delimited and uh, then uh, go to next and click here uh, now in this format you need not to separate by comma so you need to choose another symbol which is separated here you can see everywhere is separated by this symbol so i am just uh, pressing that symbol here okay separator now you can uh, preview the data you will get the data like this okay so i am just clicking next once you click next and data type is the journal that's okay i am just finishing once you finish you will get the data now I'm just deleting this uh, like a uh, column so let me delete it now I got the my record properly and understandable so you can see okay so this is the complete records I got okay so you can see so one row is there which is totally empty you can remove from here I'm just deleting I deleted so now you can see everything is visible properly everything uh, understandable like this is the product id this is the transition uh, transaction date everything is proper so this is the way to clean the data and you can uh, like extract data from the word and you can make it in the proper excel format okay so thank you so much for watching this video